Hello everyone. Uh, today we will cover a topic that comes under midwifery and obstetrical nursing that is the bleeding that comes in the later pregnancy. Uh, the condition is APH. APH is uh, known as antipartum hemorrhage. Uh, uh, first we will see what is antipartum hemorrhage. The bleeding that takes place in the genital tract after 28th week of gestation during pregnancy till the birth of the baby. Uh, that includes first and second stage of the labor. This is known as antipartum hemorrhage. Uh, so, what are the types of antipartum hemorrhage? Types of antipartum hemorrhage, threes are there. First one is uh, uh, placental cause. Uh, the placental cause uh, of 70 percentage, mainly uh, two conditions are there. One is uh, placenta previa and that is uh, uh, 35 percentage and abruptia placenta that is also 35 percentage. The next one is extra placental causes. So, extra placental causes mainly 25 percentage uh, cervical polyp, uh, cervical carcinoma, varicocities and uh, last 5 percentage causes is unexplained causes or unknown etiology. Uh, so, uh, here uh, today we will uh, uh, see the topic known as placenta previa. Uh, so, what is the meaning of placenta previa? So, uh, usually the placenta is implanted in the upper part of the uterine cavity in the normal pregnancy. If the placenta is uh, partially or completely implanted in the lower uterine cavity, uh, that is it uh, uh, covers or uh, uh, near to the internal os, then it is known as the placenta previa. So, what is the incidence? Incidence if you see uh, 0 to 5 percentage of pregnancy that is 1 in 200 pregnancies we can see placenta previa. 80 percentage of cases uh, they can go with a multiple pregnancy, multi, uh, multi para women also they can get placenta previa. And uh, uh, if you see the risk of women of uh, previous uh, uh, cesarean section women also. And uh, uh, next we will see what are the uh, etiological factors. Etiological factor main etiology is unknown etiology and uh, another one is a uh, dropping down theory. So, the fertilized ovum directly dropped into the lower uterine segment and the placenta will be implanted in the lower uterine segment. Then next one is a uh, persistent chorionic activities. The development of the chorion uh, this can uh, go with placenta previa and uh, third one is uh, 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 defective decidia that is the uh, defect of decidua in the upper part of uterine cavity obviously this will go with the lower implantation of uh, uh, placenta and the last one is big suffers of placenta previa that is of multiple uh, pregnancies large placenta previa so the placenta can come and lie in lower uterine pool and then as we will see what are the risk factors risk factors first one is uh, age if it is more than 35 to 40 years of age uh, multiparity uh, having multiple pregnancy, any infertility treatment and uh, the women have any uh, surgeries, previous uh, uh, cesarean section and uh, uh, MTP procedure, DNC or myomectomy, uh, fibroid in the uh, uterus and uh, the women uh, previous history of uh, placenta previa, uh, the present pregnancy also she can have uh, placenta previa. Uh, next one is uh, smoking, cocaine abuse, this will leads to the uh, large placenta the uh, surface and uh, any abnormalities of the placenta. So, uh, next we will see what happen in the uh, pathology. So, pathology if you see the placenta, the placenta become very large thin like a tongue shape and it will encourage near the lower uterine segment and sometimes the cord can be attached to the uh, margin or uh, uh, that is the membranous part and can risk for getting vasa previa. And uh, next if you see the lower segment will be very much uh, stretched and the uh, cervix will be very much soft. And what is the causes of uh, bleeding? Uh, bleeding if you see later trimester the development of the placenta will be stopped and the lower uterine segment will be very much stretched. As a result uh, uh, what happened the inelastic placenta cannot be stretched it will be shared out and there will be having opening of uteroplacental uh, uh, spaces and the bleeding will be happen. 
So, this is the pathology behind placenta previa. Next, we will see what are the types of placenta previa or decrease. Mainly four types are there. Uh, type 1 uh, placenta previa that is known as the uh, low-lying placenta or lateralis placenta or first degree placenta. Here, the major part of the placenta will be present in the upper uterine segment. Uh, the edge of the placenta uh, will be present in the lower uterine segment. And uh, second one is type 2, type 2 second degree or uh, marginal uh, placenta previa. Uh, here uh, the placenta, uh, placenta edges will come and uh, lie near the margin of the internal os. Here does not cover the internal os, it just lie near the margin of the internal os. Here two types of uh, placenta previa is the type 2 anterior that is a mild type, type 2 posterior. It is a dangerous type of placenta previa. Here the placenta will be occupy the uh, sacral uh, part of the uh, uh, birth canal and this will uh, decrease the uh, diameter of the pelvis and uh, uh, leads to uh, compression of the presenting part and fetal can go with the fetal distress. So, it is known as dangerous type of placenta previa. And uh, type uh, 3 is uh, uh, that is third, deg uh, third degree placenta. It is otherwise uh, uh, known as incomplete pa placenta or partial placenta. Here uh, the marginal edge of the placenta will come and uh, lie over the internal os or partially dilated internal os but does not uh, cover when the cervix is fully dilated. Uh, then next uh, fourth degree uh, placenta or four, uh, fourth type if you see complete placenta or central placenta previa. Here the placenta will be uh, completely covers the internal load when it is uh, uh, partially or uh, fully dilated. When the service is partially or fully dilated, this will be completely covers the internal os. So, these are the types. Then another one is according to the clinical type, it can be divided into two. Uh, mild uh, type is there, uh, major type is there. Mild type, type 1, type 2 anterior is mild type. Major type, type 2 posterior, type 3 and type Four. And uh, renewed classification is there that is uh, uh, true placenta uh, previa that is the placenta completely covers the internal os when it is fully dilated. Then low lying placenta when the placenta uh, previa the edge of the placenta 2 cm away from the internal os. Uh, so, these are the major uh, classifications. Uh, next, uh, we will see what is the uh, complications. Complication, uh, if you see, uh, for the pregnant women, uh, they can, uh, pregnancy, during the pregnancy, they can go with abortion, uh, preterm labor, malpresentation. Uh, next, in the labor time, increased operatory deliveries, uh, lacerations, uh, premature rupture of membrane, PPH, retained placenta, air embolism, uh, placenta, accrete. Then uh, for the fetus, uh, uh, fetal distress, uh, uh, the fetal distress can be happen, uh, they can uh, uh, have uh, birth injuries, uh, congenital anomalies, uh, low birth weight babies, uh, intrauterine death. Uh, next, what is the causes of, uh, uh, that is the symptoms of uh, placenta previa, mainly the symptoms if you see uh, bleeding will be there, bleeding that is sudden bleeding is there, first one, sudden bleeding if you see the mother when she woke up from the bed, pooling of blood in the uh, bed sheets will be there, when she is sitting or uh, uh, lying down without her knowledge, that is sudden bleeding, then causeless bleeding will be there, uh, then next, uh, 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 ca uh, costless bleeding will be there. She will be getting the uh, recurrent uh, bleeding will be there and the bleeding characters will be painless. So, sudden, costless, painless and recurrent uh, bleeding will be there. When she get a uh, bed rest, the bleeding will be stopped. Again, the bleeding will be happen. In the early trimester, a warning uh, signs can be happen the bleeding. The later trimester, continuous bleeding will be there for the women. And this we will see what is the diagnostic evaluation. First one is with the clinical symptoms. Uh, we can see the general appearance of the women, uh, whether she have any uh, shock symptoms. Uh, general appearance according to the blood loss, uh, 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 what is her symptoms, proportionate to the blood loss or not. Then next uh, we, uh, we can uh, uh, see the what is the bleeding. There is a brisk uh, uh, red bleeding uh, will be there for the women. And abdominal examination. Abdominal examination uh, uh, we can uh, find out uh, fundal height will be proportionate to the uh, gestational week. Fetal pads can be nicely palpated. FHS can be here. Fetal heart uh, rate can be auscultated and uh, malpresentation, transverse lie, uh, 
can be present oblique lie and non engagement of the head can be present and the uterus will be abdomen will be non tender that is the relaxed uterus will be there and uh, next one is internal examination we should not do vaginal examination if you want to do double set vaginal examination it is with the operation theater or general anesthesia any emergency is there they can go with cesarean section and we can see the prescribed vaginal bleeding uh, all blood investigation rh factor blood group uh, blood components uh, ultrasonography mri doppler can be assessed in ultrasonography the dangerous placenta previa stalworthy sign can be assessed when the head is compressed uh, decreased placental uh, perfusion they can go with the fetal uh, variation of heart rate that is known as the stalworthy sign Next, we will go with the, what is the uh, prevention. Prevention, we can uh, go early detection in the pregnancy, screening the women, warning signs can be assessed. Uh, then next, uh, ultrasonography, abdominal examination, uh, uh, we uh, complete bed rest, conservative management, we can prevent the complication. What is the management? Management, we, if you see at the home, at the home, uh, if the women having the complaint of bleeding, uh, do not do vaginal examination, perennial pad can be uh, kept, see the shock and rough Referral services, flying squad can be given, anti-shock measurements and uh, uh, reach to hospital whether um, uh, obstetrical ICU care and plus uh, neonatal uh, services is there. Then next one is uh, uh, we have to see whether the uh, ma uh, mother uh, in the hospital. Hospital, uh, uh, what is the care? In the hospital, uh, first we have to see the emergency care. Emergency, what is the bleeding? Uh, what is the general condition of the mother? Any shock is there? BP can be monitored. Uh, IV fluids can be given. Crystalloids, blood transfusion can be given. Complete bed rest. Resuscitation can need admin resuscitation. Then we have to see what is the obstetrical management. Obstetrical management, what is whether the mother is in labor or not in the labor. If the mother is not in the labor, we have to see the gestational week. Gestational week less than uh, 37 weeks or more than 37 weeks. If uh, less than 37 weeks, we can go with conservative management. Conservative management, uh, hospitalization, complete bed rest has to be uh, done. Uh, don't do vaginal examination. Uh, fetal well-being has to be assessed and the mother, uh, 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 mother tocolytic or encircling operation can be done if it is needed and continuation of the pregnancy can be done. If after 37 week of uh, gestation means induction of labor can be done or unfavorable condition is there cesarean section. If the mother comes in the hospital with the labor, if the bleeding is slight, uh, if, it, if the placenta is 2 cm away from the internal os and uh, no complication, cervix is dilated, favorable uh, pelvis is there, high rupture of membrane and uh, uh, oxytocin and we can deliver the baby. If unfavorable condition is there, malpresentation, contracted pelvis, vasa previa, uh, then next uh, uh, severe uh, bleeding is there, shock symptoms is there, fetal distress is there, cord prolapse, yeah, like this condition is there, then we can go with uh, uh, cesarean. Uh, section. Uh, last, we will see what is the nurse's role. As a nurse, we have to uh, assess the general condition of the mother, temperature, pulse, BP, assess the shock management, anti-shock uh, treatment can be given for the mother. Don't do vaginal examination. So, we can uh, uh, see the bleeding of the women. Uh, perennial pad can be placed. Left lateral position can be kept. Uterine contraction, uh, progress of labor can be monitored and fetal well-being can be assessed. Reassurance the mother. Uh, and we can uh, uh, prepare the mother if cesarean section is uh, needed or not. So, uh, uh, today we class uh, seen about antipartum hemorrhage, placenta previa, what is the definition, uh, causes, uh, etiology, pathology, types, uh, uh, complications uh, and uh, uh, diagnostic evaluation, management and nurses. So, I am signing off Mrs. Nima. So, next video we will meet again. Thank you.